two of my kids now that they're like old enough and they kind of understand what's going on so i figured it'd be something cool because they can literally see like by the as the days go the roots start growing and the plants start growing like in your window so what's going on youtube we got uh empress right here and sage might pop in i don't know yet but today we're gonna start sweet potatoes from we're gonna pretty much grow our own slips i've done this before i have some other videos on it but um these ones hopefully they're kind of they kind of hard and tough but as you you know go along and pick out your own sweet potatoes the potatoes will start being resistant to stuff that's around your area pests and stuff like that so you pick the best potatoes out your last year's bunch the ones that you don't eat you know you eat the best ones but try to leave a few for the next year so you can have some to start you your own slips and it's your own uh pretty much selection you start making your own sweet potato that's best for your area your climate and everything like that versus going to buy slips from the grocery store because those are grown I mean not from a grocery store from uh, the nursery going to buy slips from nursery they're grown somewhere else that's not to your yard and your area so once you start getting your own sweet potatoes just start picking some and saving some for the next year so pretty much we're just gonna you can see all these new plants each one of these is a new plant you see one more all these are new sweet potato plants yeah, one will. That's what we hoping on doing. This one kind of funk, funky shape. So Can we don't have to. Take these off? No, we don't want to take them off. This is what we want the uh we want these to grow, and we're gonna stick them in the water, and this is gonna turn into plants. Okay. So when we stick it in the water, you'll start seeing it as the uh as we go. So we'll start off with this weird shape one. So as you can see, all the empress, <laughs> all the plant tops are growing right here. So if you stick it in the water like this, well, we're gonna have to pour some of that water, right? All right, back to it. So this sweet potato is kind of funky shape. So what I usually do is take some two picks. I take like two or three, shh, Sage. I take like two or three toothpicks. And so if your sweet potato is already sprouting like this one, you just stick it in here like this in some water. And we're gonna put the two picks so it just holds it from falling all the way into the water. Because as the um, sweet potato starts to put out roots and everything, the potato itself will start to shrink. So you wanna have something to hold the sweet potato in place so it doesn't just fall into the water. Put one more on the other side so we won't be four. This sweet potato is kind of weirdly shaped, but it is what it is. Most of the time, you want like a, if you can get a perfectly shaped one, it'll be long and wide and, and thick. So that's be like the perfect shape one that you can go with. And so as time goes on, give it. We'll come back in a couple days, and you'll start to see roots coming out of these little out of the plant itself right here it'll start making roots and that's what you want to do and then once you get the roots we'll go from there so that's one all right Lamar you gonna do one you gonna do this one this one see this is a good one all the roots are right here in the top of it so we're gonna put it down like this all right all right you hold out okay let's see if you can poke these toothpicks in there all right push 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 all right actually I just had a brain fart hold on I forgot we putting this part down in the water so we're gonna have to move it down a little bit like right there all right all right so now you take this one and put it back in there about right there right here nope nope put that okay use that one all right push it push it push it push it all right good job all right and then we're gonna put it in here like this all right go ahead go ahead all right that's good right there all right, let your hand off of it. All right, so we don't have the nope. You gotta put it right here, put it right there. All right, go ahead, do it. Push it, push it, 
A little bit more. I see the um, juice coming out. Yep, a little bit of starch. All right, that's good. Juice right now. All right, man. So you want to try this one? Yeah. All right. So take that toothpick and poke it in there. All right. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So we got most of all the this slip starters. I don't know what they're really called, like the actual word. But once you get these in, like you can see on these ones right here. It already has tiny leaves on them, but they're not like true leaves yet. So we're gonna sit these in the uh, water, like they are now, and then we're gonna sit them in the kitchen window. And like I said, I've done this video a few times, but we're trying to add in a couple extra. Me plus, I got my best extra helpers weeks. with me, so we're gonna uh, come back in probably a couple days, and these should start uh, rooting. So it's been a week. And Whoa. as you can see, quick Ooh, update. Leaving. All these the roots. So stop. right now it's one, two, three, four, four to five plants off of this one yeah. potato right here. As you can see. And then so one with that. Yep. You wanna touch it? Yeah, you wanna touch it. Yeah. Don't break it. It's not gonna break. If you sometimes if you don't know which side is down and which side is up when you do uh, these just stick the side where the oh, eyes are growing out so if you and they're starting to grow on your counter or something stick that part into the water and therefore the roots will start growing out of that side and like in the kitchen. say um, I've also done it like with this potato right here This potato is kind of slow, but it's one of the bigger ones. But that little eye right there is not in the water, so the roots aren't going to grow. But you can see these ones on the bottom are starting to grow. So they're all doing pretty good so far. And probably in the next week or two, we'll put them in the... Uh, this time we're going to put everything in um, five-gallon buckets. And so we'll put them in the five gallon buckets and transplant them outside and they got plenty of time. It's just now April. So these will be in the ground by May and by Thanksgiving, October, then we'll pull them out and see what we get and we'll go from there. So check back in with us. Y'all got something you want to say about sweet potatoes? Y'all having fun? Yeah. What you think? This the leaves of sweet potatoes and the roots coming down. Mm-hmm. potatoes that we started in the house um, it's been about two or three weeks I'm saying two or three weeks I believe um, so we got one two three four five six buckets this bucket is an old bucket full of weeds we're gonna rip it out and then we're gonna drill holes make sure you drill holes in all your buckets don't do like I did one time and forgot to drill a hole where it filled up with water with dirt and everything in it so um, let's get to it that's right. All right, this one. And we're going to drill one hole there, one there, one there, one there, one there. That's it. Why are you doing can you that? bring that bucket over here? Yeah. Just so the water can drain out. You could drill like real big holes, one big hole, but I just use the little one. Seems to work just fine. 
All right, flip them back over. All right, all right, all right. What, what can the heart say? Y'all don't know nothing about that. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Hold on. So this one's full of weeds. So I'm just gonna it's really slugs on it. Slugs on the bottom too, apparently. So we're just gonna dig out the weeds and put more dirt in. All right. Dig that out. You get one dig out. Get a scoop out of there. Get a big. Get them weeds out of there. Wrong way, man. Wrong way. There you go. Good job. All right, Empress, your turn. Get them the weeds out of there. Good job. All right. I'll knock out the rest. All right, so most of this that's in here is mushroom compost and with the sweet potatoes With the sweet potatoes, I'm trying to use more um, Mushroom compost because it's more looser sandier so the sweet potatoes can grow through it easier So I'm gonna do like part um, Mushroom and part yeah, black cow manure. Cow boo boo. Got the cow boo boo. Cow boo boo. What's the cow boo boo, Dad? What's the cow boo boo? Cow boo boo is cow poop. Cow poop. Cow poop. Alright, good one. All right, you mix one. Okay. Who mixing this one? Me. You doing that one? Say you do this one. Here you go. Oh, no, you can use this right here. This will work better for you. Yeah. All right, you mix this one over here. Mix that one up. So we're gonna add bone meal. We're gonna add bone meal to each of these for the sweet potatoes because if you don't know, bone meal is high in phosphorus and that's what potatoes and any kind of root crop will like. So you want to add um, phosphorus to it. So we're just gonna drop a handful of bone meal and mix it all up. Get you a little bit tossed in that bucket right there. All right there. All right, you get you some too, Lamar. Put them in this bucket. Right there. All right. Break it up. Yeah, just break it up. All right. Now knock your hands off. And we're just going to get it. Get that a little quick, little stir, stir. Okay, Lamar. Well, they still white. They still going to be white until you wash them. All right, so we're going to start off with that one. All right, we're going to start off with that. Pull away. My throat. My throat. All right. Get it. Get So I usually do one sweet potato per five-gallon bucket, but I'm going to try to put two in here in case one doesn't kind of um, survive. So I'm going to do two in one just in case. And you can just grab at the base right here and pop. And it just pops right loose. There we go. There you go. All right. All sweet potatoes. And like I've done this a few times already, but I figured I'd do it with my kids now that they're like old enough and they kind of understand what's going on. So I figured it'd be something cool because they can literally see like by the, as the days go the roots start growing and the plants start growing like in your window so um they seem to like it and think it's pretty cool so i was like hey i feel like it might be a good good thing to try to do with your kids what y'all eating strawberries no what blackberry did you rinse them off yeah okay they're so good are they good yeah 
Yeah. Okay, I asked you, was it heavy? You said no. All right, a little bit there. All right, go to the next one. All right, so that's the end of our little grow with our kids. Um, like I said, sweet potatoes in a jar in the window, two, three weeks. You got plants. Um, we using five gallon buckets because we're moving soon. So hopefully um, we can just pick them up and bring them with us and go from there and just leave them where they're at and we'll harvest them come uh, fall time. And um, that's that. 